Hi, hello you, and welcome back to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We're currently chasing Goyle, if I remember correctly. It's been uh, it's been a while since I saw him, and we're going through a maze. So at this point, you just start wondering, what the hell are you doing? I got some tea. Oh, that's good. I hope you got some tea too. What is that sound? Ooh, it's a snails. Well, we made it up here. And I'm not entirely sure. I got kind of lost in the maze, but we should be fine. Should be fine. And again, I have to apologize if you hear my downstairs neighbor. He's still having a tough time grasping the concept of... Um, sound. Being loud. Speaking aloud. Ow, my ears. <laughs> Turned it up so I couldn't hear him. Maybe you guys can, I don't know. Hope you can't. I did what I could to protect your fragile ears. Defendo befriendo. Oh, that's not good. Good thing we're too fast. Flipendo and defendo sounds really similar. Defendo? That was in the books, I think. Flipendo definitely wasn't. Man, the games get... They confuse you so much. You start forgetting what's real and what's not. Huh. What's that be... Hmm. Oh, okay. A ladder down. I see. Okay. And then we have another one here. It's so I can get back up. Alright. So, I have some colors. And I have some spinny things. And we have a puzzle at our hands. So I'm guessing uh, if we get red. Wait, let me see what's on all these sides. Okay, so we can make them all blue and then the left one. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry, right one. Um, should open. Nice. Please be a secret. Silver card, maybe. That's a funny looking silver card. Okay, time to go to the other side. I mean, can I hit them from here? I can't. Alright. I didn't want to hit it anyway. Let's make them all go red. And that. Wait. Did it open? Okay. It's just no cinematic. Okay, yes. Fine. Silver card, maybe? Yes. It's not silver, but it's something. We got Edgar Strolgar. Some scientist looking guy. Alright. I'll take it. That must be it for that room. There's another gargoyle? Hmm. Hmm. I see gargoyles all over. But it is not telling me what the gargoyle is for, though. Oh, no. Oh. Quick reactions. Get away, peeves. Uh, question mark? What is he doing? I beat him, I guess. Oh. So there are secrets. I don't know what the other gargoyle was for. I'm gonna go back and uh, reignite it. That was just a lot of frogs. I guess it didn't expect me to stun like peeves. I don't know what that was for. <laughs> Should always be scared when you get a lot of health from the game. It means that a boss is usually coming up. What did you light up? Maybe it's back. You just, you never know. But why would it be here? I don't think so. I think, I think, I think it would be forward, if anything. Maybe it's the same one as that one. It's a lot of scorching. Huh. Maybe it's just to give me light, because it's dark down here? I mean, that's possible. That's the entire point of the spell, isn't it? 
it's just, it's just never been the the point of the spell before in the game. It's always just been very liberal. That's what I'll call it. Liberal use of spells and creating a bit of a different story. Rick to Sempra. Alright. Well, there's definitely a hatch over there, but I'm guessing removing all of the cobweb will do something as well. No? Alright. It was just a way in to get some beans. Man, I gotta remember to buy the... the... Um, the Quidditch outfit. From Fred and George. Though I can be all cool in my next Quidditch match. And Cho Chang will think that I'm pretty again. Didn't get that frog, I know that, it juked me. <laughs> They're really good at dodging. Come here, you little bugger. Nope. Got it. Uh, have we been here before? Because I feel like we kind of have. Wigan tree bar? Yes. Have we not? I feel like I have. Maybe I haven't? Mm -hmm. Well, we can't climb the walls. They do release beans when they hit them. And here I go hurting him. Like some sort of monster. Oh. I can take him home. Come here. Little bugger. You're mine now. Yeah. Nope. In you go. Give me the beans. <laughs> what? I think that's the first time we've gotten uh, a bowling sound effect when doing that. Hit some pins. So, what is the goal here? Do I just climb up over there? Is that it? Guess it is. A chest even. Maybe with candy? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It must be like the house ceremony when I get back again, because I think I've been missing for a week from school. Wouldn't surprise me if I've been missing for a week at least. Probably the house ceremony when we get back, and I'll get even more beans. Uh, do I go this way? So I can... Be careful to not wake Goyle. There he is, sleeping like a particularly ugly baby. <laughs> what? He is a particularly ugly baby. Well, that makes me think that this way contains a secret. And you know that secrets above all else. Give me my Wigan tree bark. Hamza. Yank. Yank. Is that it? I guess this game does consider... I don't know. Aha! I was about to say, I guess this game does consider Wigan Tree Bark a treat. But we know why we're here. What is that, Jasmine? Sirs, Gurs. Yes. I got her now. A new card. I find it hard to believe there's not anything down here. Why else would it be here? Aha! Reveal your secrets. There it is. Stop that. <laughs> All that for a few beans. Okay. It's fine. Alright, let's go uh, wake up that particularly ugly baby. It's a very weird voice line. Maybe it's because of the delivery of the voice actor just not being up to modern standards. It's it's brilliant. I love it. Yeah, nice and stealthy, Harry. Nice and stealthy. Flipendo! 
running around screaming for the panda. Good thing he is a heavy sleeper. How oh, did he make it here before me, though? Um... Uh... Okay. Thought I had to be clever or sneaky. I need to take the bit of Goyle back to Hermione in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Yes. Um... Well, I'm guessing since it faced me this way, that Moaning Myrtle's bathroom is this way, but honestly, I don't remember. Yeah, it's down here and to the left. With a question mark. Still not entirely convinced of my, uh, my own brilliance, but I'm sure it's there. <laughs> I have so many other potions. <laughs> oh, the bosses or whatever might come. Don't even know what's gonna hit. Why wouldn't I've it got just? A bit of oil. Well done, mate. Could have just taken me immediately. There you go. Rather you than me. Oh, I'm going into the slithering common room right. now. Please tell me they changed the voice Better line. Move on, Harry. Shh. <laughs> what the hell? Hello, Humora. Well, they really pictured them as being morons. Cassandra Wonatsky something. That's a cool name. Hello, Morning Murha. Oh. Can I? Why? Why? This is a girl's bathroom. You're not a girl. Yeah, but I want toilet candy. Toilet candy is the best candy. All right. Bye, you two. Down into the dungeons we go. <laughs> oh, they really went all out. Even changed out the jump. I know the way to the dungeon. Because all you have to do is go down. Not jumping. Not invincible. Come down. Come. Oh. Oh, I wonder. Oh, can I pop some of the locks now? Oh. So close. What? Oh. Wait. Oh, I already opened it. Oh. I guess the chest reset. Man, I can't wait to get the... Get the springy uh, spell. Uh, uh, it's gonna make me all cool. Uh, Whee! Uh, I don't think down this way is to the dungeon. Am I in the wrong place? Did I go down too far or do I just go through here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this seems right. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I'm lost in my own school. I've only been here for one and a half year, though, so... I feel like I'm justified. Did I get this secret? I did. Why would that chest not reset? Maybe all the bean chests reset. But the... Um, the car chests, they don't reset. Right, that's when you come from above, that door will open. That's true. Hello, Homora. I'm a big doofus. Oh, get the password. Oh. 
What, did he go through here or here? I'm guessing here. I'm just looking for an opening. Pure blood. <laughs> wow. What's the password? But I can use that to get into the Slytherin common room. I know Snape is mean and all, and but I highly doubt Dumbledore would allow Snape to set the password to be pure blood. What the hell? Oh, oh, that's a cool secret. That was really well made. Well done, Snape. And I just got myself another key, which is completely useless. Because I need a mental amount of those silver cards to actually get anywhere. <laughs> what the fuck? What is that sound? Blood. <laughs> Gotta give them this is a cool entrance to a common room. Malfoy. Uh, all right. What? On God's good earth. No wonder the Slytherins are way better. <laughs> if this is how they get to their common room. I mean, this is a... Come, come, son. Flipendo. <laughs> they really fall down far when you throw them in there. Come on. Those are my beans. I need them to buy pretty clothes. Very big question mark about this whole thing. Okay, we'll try this way then. Have fun, Goyle. <laughs> Have fun, Goyle. <laughs> oh, sh fudge, I just drank some of my potion. Well, there's clearly something here, right? That would get me down to there, but I need one of those gargoyles. Um, that give me light. If I just found it, then I'm a genius. It mathematically just proven that I'm the smartest human alive. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes I amaze myself. I like this game a lot, because it makes you feel really smart. Because there are so many secrets, and it, they feel really difficult to find. When you like, when you're finding them, you're like, "This can't be," and then it is. It's nice. I like it. It's very hard to balance secrets being impossible to find and secrets being findable. But this game does it well. Because I I usually miss a lot of stuff. Because because I just take it all in. I don't near study stuff. That's not true. But I usually miss secrets and stuff in games. But not this one. Probably missed quite a few, but... Yeah, I like it. It makes you, you... You find a lot of secrets. Even as an average Joe. Elfrida Clegg. Very cool. Love the climbing... The climbing sound. Just sounds like he's really constipated. What was that good for? Ah, okay, they can move. Uh, yep. 
Huh? Yep. Ooh. Hey, look, ma, I made it. Good. Good. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Hmm, that's just a way back out. I don't really care about that. It wasn't a secret. Oh, it makes it makes stuff rain down. I see. Very nice. The glue, dear Watson, is back on. Aha! Now to stand and wait for the next victim. I'm an MPP now. Boop. Flipendo. Imagine going through this every time you have to go to bed. Oh my god. Alright. That's the thing. But there's also something over here. Okay. I found it. Just a lot of beans. That's the first time the ammos have only ever been activatable once. Okay. I suppose. What the hell? Why did they make him sound like that? Rick to Sampra. Well, I don't trust any of these for one second. Oh! Haha! There's gonna be a silver card in here somewhere. No? Yes. A bronze? Ah, okay. It wasn't really that difficult a secret either, so it makes sense. Adelbert Waffling? Waffling. Some kind of cool name. Alright. Out we go. More? Uh, okay. Yep. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no! Oh no! It was entirely worth it just to hear his death sound. What the fuck? No, are you kidding me? Ah, that's the dumbest. I'm gonna end this episode here and then I'm gonna replay it and just start the next episode when we're back there. Love you guys. Thank you for watching episode 8. If I got that right, that's pretty cool. Of Harry Potter and Chamber of the Secrets. I'll see you around tomorrow. Bye.